After an up-and-down conference season for John Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats, don't look now, but UK is getting healthy, and that is resulting in big things on the floor after a dominating win at Rupp Arena against the Alabama Crimson Tide. And it's got me asking, as March Madness approaches and the pieces come together, in Lexington, could Kentucky, at the end of the day, be the team to beat in the month of March and in the pursuit for the national championship? Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop New video content, which is each and every single day. Also, guys, check out the podcast. It drops every day as well on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you get your content. And, of course, guys, check out our website, secunfiltered.com, for all the latest from us. Speaking of March Madness, guys, this segment is brought to you by our friends over at my. Bookie, if you were like me, you're gearing up. It is gambling season with our friends at my bookie. You're getting ready to throw some coin around, whether it's on futures, it's on individual games, it's on totals, it's on spreads, whatever it is, you're going to need a sports book to play with. That's our friends over at my bookie. Head over to mybookie.ag, whether on your desktop, your phone, wherever you're at, mybookie.ag. Sign up with the promo code SEC. You, you're going to get a deposit match on your first deposit up to $1,000. Guys, it's a great deal. It's going to give you some extra money to play with. And, of course, guys, when it comes to March Madness, we've got MLB coming up as well. You need a reputable sports book to play with. That's our friends at MyBookie. So, again, MyBookie.ag, promo code SEC, you would sign up. They've also got a casino as well. You can play so many different options, guys. Again, whether it's totals, it's spreads, it's futures, it's parlays, it's Prop bets. They even have prop bets at my bookie. So again, mybookie.ag, promo code SECU. That's mybookie.ag, promo code SECU for a deposit match on your first deposit of up to $1,000. Guys, Kentucky made a statement on Saturday against the Alabama Crimson Tide when they took down Nate Oates' team by a final score of 117 to 95 at Rupp Arena. And guys, admittedly, this was one. Again, as the pieces start to come together for Kentucky, but, you know, we go back to the midweek, about a week or so ago, and Kentucky falls to the LSU Tigers in a thrilling game in Baton Rouge. Give LSU credit, right? They followed up that big win against South Carolina in Columbia with a big win over Kentucky, right? They followed it up the right way and played some of their best basketball and we saw, right, what was been the common theme this year is you go on the road, the SEC, it doesn't matter who you're playing, there was a chance you can get beat, and that is what happened to Kentucky. And it's been a very up-and-down season for the Cats, but a season in which, guys, and this isn't just coming from me, this is coming from the Kentucky folks, right? We got really good friends that are Kentucky folks that have been on this show, friends of the airwaves, if you will, that have said, this season is all going to come down to what does Kentucky basketball, what does John Calipari do in the month of March? What does he do in March Madness? That's all that matters. They can win the SEC. They can finish in third. They can finish in fifth. Does not matter what type of run do they make in March. That's what the season comes down to. So it's all about getting to a place where you are playing your best basketball when it matters most. And this has been a wild season. I mean, a season full of madness, right? When it comes to upsets and, you know, you just never know in the SEC. Everybody's taking their licks in the SEC. Nobody's navigating this thing unscathed, undefeated, what have you. Like, everybody's getting beat at any given time. But I looked at that spread going into the game of the weekend, and Kentucky was a two-and-a-half-point favorite. And admittedly, and I know the game was at Rupp Arena, which you've seen this year, guys. Teams have gone into Rupp Arena and have won. I was confused by that spread. I saw that spread, and we had all seen the way Alabama had been playing. 
And I just thought, what does Vegas know? Like, what do they know that I'm not seeing? Well, what Vegas knew was that Kentucky's starting to get healthy. This basketball team, finally, they've been playing shorthanded for weeks for practically the entire season, certainly the entire conference season. This team is finally starting to get healthy. And while I know they still have questions on the defensive side, I I get that. The defense is going to be the question for Kentucky. They've got everything else. They've got the offensive attack. They've got the guard play. More on that in a second. But defensively, can they answer the bell? In this game Saturday, give credit, Alabama's one of the best offenses in the SEC. So it's not one of those things where, wow, some team who can't ever score the basketball normally came in a rough arena and almost dropped 100 points. So give Bama their credit. And Kentucky, again, got to figure out the defensive side, but they've got everything else you need to compete at a high level and to win it all. They've got the team. They've got the talent, which we all knew that. 117 to 95 yet again. Guys, this team, again, finally starting to get healthy. I mean, it's a massive win over the Alabama Crimson Tide. You look at the SEC standings and where they sit right now. I mean, guys, it's crazy to think because of the up-and-down season that Kentucky has had. It's felt like at times they've been out of it. I do think one of the reasons, though, we we sort of over-exaggerate the downfall of Kentucky, the type of season they're having, is because the expectations at Lexington are just so high But you look at Kentucky, you look at Kentucky and what they're doing in conference play, nine wins overall, five losses for the Cats in conference play, sitting two games behind out of first place, but they can still win it, guys. Kentucky can still be right there, right? They're still right in the thick of things after this big win against Alabama. Like I mentioned, guys, they've got the guards to win the entire thing. They've got the guards to win the whole thing. When you look at these numbers, guys, you look at these numbers and what they did on Saturday. Justin Edwards with 28 total points in this game. Antonio Reeves with 24 points. Rob Dillingham doing Rob Dillingham things. That dude is a wizard with the basketball. 16 points for him. They've got the guard play in Lexington to get this thing done. They really do. And now you're starting to see, hey, the bigs are starting to play a little bit better as well. I mean, when's the last time we saw a Kentucky team shoot like this? Over 50% three-point shooting against Bama on Saturday. There's no doubt Kentucky's got the talent. Again, sitting just two games out of first. And as they continue to get healthy, and you look what's next for them. You look what's coming up, right? They've got a couple big matchups, right? they got two big road games that book in this four-game set, just four games left in the regular season. They've got two tough road games that book end it. In the middle, you got Arkansas and Vandy. Both should be wins, in my opinion. Again, it's the SEC. Do I think Arkansas could sneak up and get Kentucky? Sure, but both should be wins. It's these two road games that book in the four-game set. You've got at Mississippi State upcoming, middle of this week. And that is a game that Mississippi State is as hot as anybody in the SEC. State is fighting for their postseason lives. That will be a tall task. Then finally, the season finale, and in fitting fashion, against the Tennessee Volunteers in Rocky Top. And a game that certainly, as Tennessee sits right now with top the SEC standings, that is going to be a game that's going to go a long way in determining, of course, who wins the SEC tournament seating, et cetera, et cetera. But guys, a healthy Kentucky basketball team, because that's what's happening right now. Kentucky's getting healthy. They're getting their best five on the floor. They've got their best 10. They've got depth, right? They're getting healthier and healthier and healthier. And obviously, if you're John Calipari, you got to keep your fingers crossed that no other setbacks, no other injuries are going to come up. But a healthy Kentucky basketball a healthy Kentucky basketball team is good enough to win it all. Even with all the inconsistency they've had this year, even with the ups and downs, even with some of the growing pains, even some of the tumultuous times of the season, that team we saw on Saturday against Alabama, 
a healthy Kentucky basketball team and the best version of Kentucky good enough to not only make a deep run in March Madness, but win it all. And that's saying a lot when it feels like a lot of the conversation this year. It's been Auburn. It's been Tennessee. It's been Alabama. It's been upstart programs, surprises like South Carolina. Florida coming on strong. Mississippi State coming on strong. LSU pulling upsets here and there. Kentucky's just kind of treading water, it feels like at times. But after a couple of impressive wins over the last few weeks, and this team, the pieces finally coming together, finally getting healthy, to sleep on Kentucky going into March Madness would be a mistake. Because this is a team, when healthy, when playing their best, when the pieces come together, what we saw on Saturday is an indication of what they can be. And that is one of the best teams in college basketball. And a team that undoubtedly has the guard play and has the head coach to win it all. Guys, it's going to do it all for me. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content, which is each and every single day. Also, guys, check out the podcast. that drops daily. iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also check us out on social media, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Wherever you get your content, we are there. And, of course, guys, check out our website, secunfiltered.com, for all the latest from us. As always, I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the other side.